The next consideration for playing with a beautiful sound and tone is whether the notes are all meant to be joining up or whether they're all separate or some combination. So for example, we can slur notes, obviously including more than one note in a bow. And they sound joined up. We can make them sound joined up even if we're doing a separate bows, simply by not leaving any gap between each note. So don't stop the bow, keep the bow in constant motion. The alternative to that is to stop the bow, so the sound stops. So we end up with more staccato bowing. achieve that simply by stopping the bow. Whether we're doing long bows or short bows, long bows obviously will be a louder note, or short bows, we can always choose to stop the bow or let them join up. So just to summarise that, more legato sound where they're joining. Separate. We can achieve that by lifting the bow off the string also. It has the same basic principle in that we stop generating sound with the bow. But there's a difference. If we stop the bow on the string, it stops generating the sound, it stops ringing the sound out so much. If we lift off, the string will ring out for longer and give you a more ambient sound. So stopping on the string is one way to do short notes. The other way is to come off the string. Both useful to know, both useful to practice and use, depending on what musical and emotional effect we want to create.